Alright, in this uh, video I will go through my workflow when stitching uh, drone images that I take uh, pointed down to result in a larger aerial photo. So first thing I have to do with my images is uh, strip the meta metadata that's inside them. So they have like focal length uh, information stuff like that and I want to remove that so I, I personally I use FFmpeg to do that and this is the the script I use this is the command but uh, with this script I can just drag and drop all the photos onto this batch script and it'll just do it so I'll start by doing that you can see it working here and now I have the same images, but you can see there's no more lens data or focal length data, etc. Uh, okay, so now using uh, we're using Huggin here. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you select your images, the ones that don't have metadata, and you move them in here. Here I um, I'm following an official tutorial from the Huggin website but uh, and they recommend anywhere from 5 to 40 degrees here I've had good results between uh, with 1 uh, 1 and 5 and just anything less than 10 and uh, I click OK and um, by the way make sure you're on expert mode here on the interface uh, after the, after you have everything uh, imported click here to create the control points now the more images you have the longer this will take uh, I've tried it with you know, 50 images and it might take an hour it depends on your computer so after it creates the control points you, you can check them out here if you're interested these are the points of similar similarity between adjacent images uh, after this uh, change the lens, add, add a new lens for each image. You can uh, right click on, on each image, lens, new lens, or you can just right click, press L and then N, L, N. It goes much faster. After you do that, go to the, the optimize, this geometric option, and choose custom parameters. And once you do, a new tab pops up here, this optimizer tab. Click on that. Right click on yaw, on select, click on, uh, right click on pitch, on select, keep the row selected, and yeah, the first row is unselected, that's fine. Uh, select the X, the Y, and the Z, and after you do that, click optimize. Uh, a good result is, I've, fo I've found a good result is like a, a really low number, so anything less than 10 is good. It's a good sign that this optimize, uh, optimizer had a good result click yes and then under view go to fast panorama preview window uh, click on the projection select rectilinear go to a mosaic plane I'm not sure if this matters but that's what the tutorial suggests then move and drag move it to the center here where the X is and then crop actually move these sliders just to yeah, make sure the whole image is visible and then once it's close enough in the crop you'll just cut off most of the transparent layer this is good uh, and then you can just X out here and you go to stitcher click on calculate optimal size I like PNGs and then uh, we haven't saved so when, once you press stitch it'll ask you to save the project so I'll just give it any I want any random name and then this will be the second dialogue here is for the actual stitch for photo so I'll just call it Arial and save and then You'll see it working. If sometimes this, if this doesn't work, 
make sure try the built-in blender not this end blend for example I, this said end blend excessive image overlap detected too high risk of defective seam line you can just click close which it's a, it's a failed so if you do built-in this time it might work it should work okay I jumped ahead here and uh, here is the final result after we change the blender to built-in so as you can see it's a pretty nice uh, merge here it's one big photo now uh, let's talk about things that can go wrong so sometimes if you have a, a huge amount of images uh, I found it uh, I found that c the control points can be all over the place uh, and optimizing gives you a very large error so I, I found actually resetting might help or changing the FOV to 1 instead of 5 just lowering it there's a lot of things you can play around with to try to get a good result because sometimes it's not easy and if you have a huge grid of photos I would do it by column that's how I found it uh, found more success if I just did it in uh, in columns and then merging the columns